quickly here, and that's complete. The 20. Touchdown, Jaguars. Philip Dorsett. Touchdown number 22 on the season. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. To throw on second down, Madden. He'll find his man, LaVisca Chanel. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. A throw complete to Dorsett. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big connection on that one, 35 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw again. He'll have a first down inside the 10. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Marvin Jones, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Brandon, remind me again, this is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean... Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. Play game. That's going to set him back five yards. Back to throw. Madden eluding the pressure right. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And now off to the races down the right side. And all the way down to the nine. A big play there the catch and run and that last throw Charles an important one stat wise for this young rookie it puts him over 4,000 yards passing for the season and you think about some of the great seasons by rookie quarterbacks in recent vintage how about Andrew Luck in 2012 with 4,374 yards Cam Newton had a big rookie year so did Robert Griffin the third and how about Justin right there Chenault for the Jacksonville touchdown LaVisca Chenault The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Throwing on first down. Madden steps away to his left. And he's got Dorsett complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! Philip Dorsett on his way to a historic... So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. A final shot before break. Madden, and he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that is caught, one-handed. Oh my, he pulled it in. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. 
And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things up. A big play there out of the running game. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. And somehow he's going to get a yard out of this as he fought through that first contact. It's second down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Jerry Hughes able to record his fifth sack of the season. On fourth down, Madden. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. Touchdown! Philip Dorsett with another touchdown. Number 24. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And this team continues to stake its claim as Super Bowl favorites. They are now eyeing an eighth straight win as they begin this drive here in the fourth quarter. A good game there on first down. That run will get them seven up to the 32-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. one's incomplete. So Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. and and We're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think, but to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere and the dermatologist was on speed dial, but I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media will start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Looking to throw. Madden buying time to his left. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word.